Emily, a lifetime with you just doesn't seem enough. I already know our marriage is going to be, by far, my favorite and most fruitful life experience to date. I still remember and smile about our first I love you at the dorms back in 2012 after our first camping trip. As I almost feel like I am not ready to become a husband, I surveyed our fellow wedding guests with much more marriage experience than myself for that brilliant spark of wisdom that could make me the greatest rookie husband of all time. They did not disappoint. You don't know what you don't know yet, so when you're in that situation and feel lost, respond to the situation and her with love and respect. Above all else, you are always still each other's best friend. Marriages work, but it's the best job you'll ever have. Truly admire each other. It's as if everyone wants that one foolproof, quick fix secret to marriage, yet it happens over a lifetime. Don't judge her when she eats too much chocolate. You're never ready. Never settle and keep trying to take steps. Always be learning. Be present and enjoy the little moments amongst the chaos and busyness. Don't be afraid to share, even and especially when it is difficult. Full transparency. Speak openly and honestly. Be there for each other. Sarah has saved my ass countless times. Remember to cuddle. Always make sure she's fed. Don't allow her to get hangry. Your perspective switches from individual to us. Think us versus the problem instead of me versus you. Switch your focus away from big romantic gestures to day-to-day -day stuff. Do the dishes or top her car off with gas. Connect with each other every day. Have fun together, laugh together, have a 20 minute purposeful hug, be able to talk and listen to each other. Don't forget the small surprises. Relationship dynamics change, but the couples who work, they never gave up, they never left. Emily is so selfless, so make sure to always ask if she is okay herself. These wedding guests many interviews began as a way to help me write my vows, but in every case, the discussion evolved into how to succeed in the routine workings of marriage. This is such a testament to the idea that a good and happy union is both a daily choice and a daily effort. I vow to fulfill this ideal for you. Right this second, you are fast asleep next to your blow dryer, your head resting on my shoulder, and I both can't believe it's finally here and can't wait for this six and a half year journey to start a new chapter. I think our community of guests said it best, but I want you to know that I am all too eager to be on a team with you and to have a front row seat to all of our shared difficulties and triumphs. I love you and I like you. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Call it. After six years, it doesn't seem possible to put my thoughts about you into one letter. After countless failed attempts to write this, I finally decided that the only way to describe you is with one of my favorite verses, and some paraphrasing. 1 Corinthians 13, NEV, New Emily Version. Patient. Love is you waiting for me to give everyone a goodbye hug, even when you've been trying to go home for an hour. Kind. Love is you coming to my apartment to cook dinner every night because you know I'm tired from work. Not envious. Love is you knowing that no matter who I spend my day with, it's you I want to spend all my days with. Not boastful. Love is you never demanding recognition, even when you take five nights of call in a row. Not proud. Love is you always telling people I'm the smart one, even though we both know that it's really you. Honors others, not self-seeking. Love is you wanting to be a doctor for the patients, not the paycheck. Not angered. Love is you staying calm when I'm a brat because my eyebrows won't do what I want them to. Forgiving. 
Love is you using our past experiences to grow rather than grudge. Searching for the good. Love is you always finding the bright side for me, even when it's really hard to find. Protects. Love is you talking to me on the phone every night when I walk back to my car in the dark. Trusts. Love is you understanding when I don't text you back for a long time when I'm out with my friends. Hopes. Love is you seeing the best future for us even when times get difficult. Perseveres. Love is you choosing me over and over again, day after day, even on the days when I'm not the easiest to choose. Love is you. And I'm so, so thankful that I get to share the rest of my life with you. Thank you for being everything I ever wanted and more. Always your wife.